This first delivery of lumber was just the lumber for the frame. It would be another month until our trusses got delivered. Some of the work my dad does by himself when I'm at work. I still work 80 hours every two weeks and only have one day off every 10 days. After work, on my day off, and on weekends is when I'm able to help my dad. Sometimes the work is just too much for the two of us, so it's very helpful when friends and family come over to help. After installing the LVL beams, the next thing to put in was the floor joist. With the floor joist in place, the next thing to install was the OSB subflooring. The next day, while I was at work, the exterior walls had started coming up. Most of the exterior framework is now done. Here's the interior of the basement part of the addition. And here's that door that I was talking about. It is halfway up the basement. And it sits right here. We are going to insulate it and maybe in a year from now we're going to build a deck. When we do that, we're going to open this up and you can see there's already a header that's framed in, which will support the entire wall once we cut the door out. And here's the opening for the staircase. On the outside of this window, the ground is level with the blocks, which is why we were able to have such large windows here. On this side, however, the ground level is also level with the almost the top of this block here, which is why we had to do smaller windows. The stairs down here will go down to a platform that will be at the base of these, this door right here. That platform will end where the door ends, and then the stairs will head down into the rest of the basement. Just as a reminder, this wall is 26 feet, and this wall is 29 feet. It's supposed to be raining the entire next week, so the goal of today is to set up a temporary 30 by 50 foot tarp to cover from the addition all the way over the roof of the house. So hopefully when it rains, the rain will just drip off.
So the tarp is in place. I think it'll hold. Hopefully it doesn't get too windy. If it gets too windy, I think it'll definitely rip out. And I don't want that. And here's the completed staircase with the platform. The old steps that used to be in front of the house had an existing foundation. So instead of digging this up and building our own, we decided to utilize it. The first thing we had to do was to lift it up by four inches so that when we added three layers of cinder block, it lined up exactly to where we needed it to go. We accomplished this by pouring about four inches of concrete. After this concrete hardened, we would then add three layers of cinder block. One of my neighbors down the road was doing some landscaping and had dirt that he needed to get rid of. And I can't say no to free dirt. I used my lawnmower relief bag to clear some leaves so that he would have no trouble getting in and out. Mm -hmm. 